What's up guys? Welcome back to Coffee Talk and Tech. I'm John Ryan. Today, I want to do a comparison between two USB capture cards. One costs $20 and the other one costs about $130. I want to go over which one does what and what you're going to get for the price. So let's get into this video. Okay, so capture cards, they're a pretty hot item right now. We know the Cam Link has been on back order quite often lately. I finally was able to pick one up at my local Best Buy for the fair price of $130. So the Cam Link is pretty much the benchmark when it comes to capture cards and USB capture cards. So it does 4K at 30 frames per second, and it will do 1080p at 60 frames per second. Um, so if you're a streamer and a live streamer and a gamer, you might be needing this 1080p at 60 frames per second. But if you're just doing your regular streaming or wanna use your camera to stream or use as a webcam, then maybe, just maybe, this one that I picked up on Amazon for $20 that had a lot of good reviews. And so I said, let me give it a try. Now this one's only USB 2 and the cam link is USB 3. And that's why you get a higher transfer rate and you can get also 4K out of the Elgato. But for $20, I said, what do I gotta lose? So let me give it a try. So let's get into this video and take a look and I'll show you video from each one and you can tell me, what do you think? How does it look? Was it worth the extra money for the Elgato or was the $20 Amazon capture card worth it for you? Or would you purchase one or the other? So let's do the comparison. Okay, so this is me on the Elgato. I'm recording on OBS and I have it set to 30 frames per second. Now I said that we can go up to 60 frames per second in 1080p, but I wanna do a fair comparison of 30 frames per second because the Amazon one only does 1080p at 30 frames per second. So I'm gonna keep all the settings exactly the same, the lighting the same, every adjustment will be the same. And I'm recording this through OBS directly in and now we're going to be able to take a look and see the comparison back to back. So I'm going to wave my hands a little bit so you can see if there's anything going on video wise or movement wise that looks different. And maybe you'll make a decision to see if the $20 one or the Elgato 4K is more up your alley. Now just remember you can future proof yourself by having the Elgato and having 4K and that may be something that is also an option too. But not everybody has the same bank account or can spend as much in general on the accessories they need. So this might hold you off until you can get the Elgato 4K. So um, I'm gonna go and end this and we're gonna come back and take a look on the Amazon capture card. All right, guys, so I'm back. This is the Amazon capture card at 30 frames per second. Exactly everything is still the same on my camera recording through OBS and um, doing my recording on a Canon M50. Um, so I'm going to do some hand waving so you can see if it's a little more jittery or not, or does it act the same? Um, so I think that you're gonna be pretty amazed by how well this looks. Now, I got a feeling that the majority of the people that need a capture card would be nuts not to buy this for $20. I mean, it does everything that you might need it to do and maybe a little more. So um, this is the picture I'm getting. Uh, I haven't changed a thing, like I said, 30 frames per second at 1080p and I'm going to end here and switch back over. And then when I switch back over, I usually go back into 1080p at 60 frames per second. So that will be a little different and I'll be back on my Elgato 
Cam Link. All right, guys, so you tell me, which one would you buy? What do you think is worth it? I think that most people would be fine with this one. And maybe if you're a gamer or a full-time streamer, then obviously this would be your pick. But I was amazed. I think you're gonna be pretty amazed when you watch this back to back and see the video yourself that it's pretty awesome for $20. So leave a comment below. You tell me what you think and I hope this helps you out. And please subscribe, I'm a brand new channel and I'm trying to bring content out to you that hopefully will help us make better decisions on our purchases for streaming and making YouTube videos and stuff like that. So please subscribe and hit the like button and have a great one and I'll see you on the next one.